watching MissMileny.com and I decided to do a makeup haul video because after all those Marvy Beck videos you saw where she taught me how to do my own makeup, I decided I need to go out and get all the tools that she used on my face and of course I went to MAC. So here is my MAC makeup haul video and I'm excited to share this with you. So first up I got this MAC primer. Um, I really like MAC's primers and this one has uh, SPF 50 as well so that's great for uh, the sun if you're out in it a lot. Then. Um, aside from the Bobbi Brown, uh, this is a MAC concealer that Marvy suggested I use and the color for this one is MW35, it's a Studio Finish Concealer and this is great because you can just use your fingers and like she said, massage under your eyes and just any you know acne spots that you have and cover that up and pretty much you can just use a little bit of uh, powder on top of that for day and you're good to go. For evening when you want to be a little more glam, this is the Studio Fix Fluid with SPF 15 and this is a really good fluid because now they've started bringing them out in in-between shades. If you couldn't find your perfect shade, this is the perfect one for me. It's the NC 43.5. Uh, and if you're worried about handling it because you're worried that it'll spill, you can buy this little attachment at MAC, which is a little pump. So then it has a little dispenser for you on top. And this is the right brush to use to apply uh, the foundation with. It needs to have a tip like this. So you should probably get one of these brushes. It's the 190, which you get at MAC as well. So I've got that so that you can glide on all the foundation perfectly on your face. Um, then on top of that, once you've put on your foundation, it's good to have uh, a Studio Fix powder. And I really like this one. This is the NC42. And it comes uh, with a little mirror and it has a little sponge underneath. But if you don't want to use the sponge, you can use a brush like this. I've had this one for a really long time. And it's great because it helps you sort of work in uh, the powder on top of your foundation and makes your face look quite natural. This is something I was really excited to pick up. I've never used translucent powder before on top of my makeup, but it really makes you look sort of fresh and flawless. And this is the NC20. Um, it's important that whatever you're layering on top of your makeup, Marvi told me, keep it lighter. Otherwise, just like your nail polish gets darker, the more shades you coats you put on it, the same thing happens with makeup. So try to keep the balance right. Don't go too light, but this is the right uh, shade to wear on top. And then, um, like Marvi said, contouring can be very critical when you're going out, especially when you're trying to give yourself that very chiseled look. So this is a great um, product to use if you want to contour, and it is called the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Dark. And you can basically use this to contour your cheekbones, if you have high cheekbones, under your jawline and the side of your nose. Uh, and you can watch the Marvi Beck tutorial on how to contour to learn more about that. And then, of course, I got this um, eye pencil. This is a really nice one. It's called Engraved. MAC has two options. One is uh, Engraved, which is great if you like non-smudge. And they have Smolder, which is great if you're trying to give yourself smoky eyes, which comes, um, again, in a pencil form. And to keep it nice and sharp, you can buy one of these sharpeners as well. Uh, so you're good to go and you're never out of eyeliner. Um, then, this is a blush that I found works on pretty much all skin tones. It's a beautiful shade. It's called Desert Rose in Matte. It's a powder blush. Uh, and you can, like Marvie said, you can never wear too much blush nowadays, so go crazy. And then I got a couple of lipsticks, because I have, haven't worn lipstick in a long time. But like Marvie said, uh, lipstick is back and it's bold, so go crazy with it. A couple of nice shades. This one's called Mahara. I kind of like all these like slightly plum and juicy shades. And she said um, when you put on several layers and some gloss, you can give it a very nice 3D effect. This is another shade I got. This one is the Brickola from the Amplified Collection. Remember, I also have uh, the Amplified Up the Amp, which is amazing. This is Satin Mocha. Again, sort of a nice coffee shade, but with a little hint of orange in it. And finally, this one's Amplified Craving, which is, again, a deep plum, which is great for evenings if you top it up with glass if you top it up with gloss or MAC lip glass. So this was my MAC makeup haul. I hope you liked it. You're going to see me wearing a lot of it. Uh, and tell me what you think. Leave me a comment below. Keep watching.